Okay, guys. Um, I want to update you on some of the stuff I saw in the Astrogram recently and what I've done in the Astrogram. First of all, you know Biden and that chick that he's always with, you know, um, I, I, again, I'm forgetting her fucking goddamn name. I'm sure you guys can tell me, um, but, um, obviously, if you want to, if, if you guys still don't know, um, she's wearing, basically, you know, in the Symptoms episode when Lisa is wearing, you know, a breast, a bracelet and she's wearing like a, a blue, um, almost like a blue suit and everything like that, um, I keep forgetting her name, man, but her and Biden, guess what happened? Guess what happened? In the Astrogram. This was this this was when I actually no, yeah. This when I was meditating. I thought this was when I was sleeping. But this is when I was meditating. I went I went to find them. And I found them. <laughs> and I did my thing. I went to the Astrogram and I saw them. And then Biting came out, and I'm just like, hello, and then he's like, because I was already, I, I literally, I was turning to the great cosmic serpent, you know, that beast that they say, you know, and then, um, um Omala Hera, is that her name? Um, I, the name's coming to me, um, but her, she saw, she's literally, Biden's like right here, I'm like right here, and she's like right here, and she's like, and I'm looking at them, and they're about to run to the door until literally I'm like, <laughs> literally just destroyed them with my nuclear breath. I literally destroyed them in the Astrogram. Look, for the past few days, to be quite honest, guys, I've been irritated. <laughs> I've been irritated. All right. For crying out loud, I'm going on a rampage on the Astrogram, and I know I am. For crying out loud, this is how I know I'm going on a rampage on the Astrogram. It's because I don't know if they were my family. I don't know because look, what I saw was some of my fam some of my family and friends that were there, and they could have been deities or beings that took their form. Possible, I'm not going anything out. But when I saw them, my ears were clogged up and I couldn't hear what they were saying. And I'm just like, I can't hear anything, guys. I really can't hear anything. And they're like, yeah, whatever. You're just lying. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah. And then they're talking to me. I'm like, guys, I can't hear anything. And they kept laughing and laughing. And it just, it drove me fucking insane that literally I had a, I became the great cosmic serpent right there. And I literally annihilate all of them. I blew them up. I was so pissed and so angry that I was, I literally was making sounds in my, in my bed, literally. Like when I was sleeping, <sighs> like, I am like, you know how you're conscious of when you're sleeping and shit and you're having a dream. That's what happened. That's what was happening. I was, I was, a, I was a dream and asleep. I was lucid basically. And <sighs> It's fun too, cause it all ended when my little sister touched me in the back, you know, cause I, I cause I didn't pay attention, cause I didn't do my nuclear breath on her, cause she was right behind me, and then all my friends and some of my family members were just like laughing at me and all that. You know how that, you know how that moment when you think you're making fun of and, and stuff like that, then you see like bubbles around you and everything like that, and people are laughing and shit. That's why I saw in my dream, and I was getting fucked, and I'm like this, oh, oh, and then all of a sudden my eyes just glowed fucking like red and shit and kind of like you see in dragon ball z when they when um when you know the sands turn into um the great ape their eyes turn red and shit my eyes turned red and shit and i became the great cosmic serpent and just went like <sighs> like i just destroyed the living shit out of them and i couldn't and i didn't stop i didn't stop i kept going and going and going and then once my sister touched me in the back. I woke up and I was like, I wasn't sweating or anything. Like I just woke up like, so th those are the updates that I want to tell you. 
the whole thing with Biden and Amalia Harris, that happened like a few weeks ago. I'll say the beginning of this month that it, st it happened. And then the dream that I just recently told you happened like probably two or three days ago. What does that tell me? The first, the first meditation that with Biden and Omar Harris, when I did that, I knew that I knew I took, I knew that they're not around anymore. I always knew that they were not around anymore. I mean, for kind of now, the whole plan is for Biden to get out of office so they can put her in it. I think that's why I went to the Astro Realm because in my subconscious mind, I was like, you guys are not, none of you are going to be in office. It's over. You guys thinking that you're going to keep going? Oh, no, you're not. Stop tricking people. That's why I did what I did in the Astro Realm. All right? That's what, what I did in the Astro Realm. Most people are like, you're threatened? How am I threatened if I already did it? No, <laughs> I already did it in the Astro Realm. Right? I already know I did it. And these evil beings know that I did it too. Every time I've done something in the Astro Realm, I've always live my mark, and they know what mark I have. They know who I am. Right? They're trying to probably fuck with me right now, but I'll say this: you're not, you're not the, you're, I'm not the type of person to be fucked with. If your plan is to what, like, nuclear breath my friends and family too? Is that your plan? Because I say this, if they become bots, I won't hesitate. I've said that before and I say it again. If they're bots, when this shit comes, I won't hesitate. Okay? Yeah, sure, I might be sad later on and cry like a bitch, but <laughs> what has to be done has to be done. Okay? Seriously, man. You, you, you really gonna... If there was a zombie apocalypse, basically, and you see your own family members into zombies, you're not going to try to fucking, like, stop them? Or, like, like put them out of their misery? You must not care, then. You must not give a fuck. You must be like, yeah, let's just leave them there. Because, oh, because you're one of those people that, like, when a dog is dying, you don't want them put them to, you don't want them put, to put asleep. Because you'd be like, oh, you know, I don't have the heart to do so. But yet, you're making them more suffer while they're fucking literally there, just living. Because you know they're, they're already dying. So, might as well end their suffering. But no, you just want to leave them there. Suffering. Selfish. That is selfish as fuck, man. So fucking selfish. It is. Right? That, that, that's one when a lot of people would be like, oh, so you, you're selfish for yourself and all that? I'm like, no. That, that's why I want people to come together and shit. It doesn't matter what color you are. But the universe made her decision. Whether I like it or not, she made her decision. Color people are going to rise and none color people are going to fall. Why? Because there's no balance in the universe, man. We are the creators. We are the stepping stones of life. Without these white people being here, without, basically, without us being here, these white people won't be here. All right? Seriously. You have freaking some evil beings that are Caucasian worshiping the black man, the Afro man. Why? Because they fucking goddamn know. All right? Even back in fucking Atlantis, they worshiped us. But, hey, back then we say, you, you didn't have to do none of that shit. You know? But some of our family members go to fucking goddamn ego. And we're like, yeah! Well, guess what? We're paying for it, too. You're going to pay for it, too. Thinking that karma's not going to get you. <laughs> karma always gets these evil beings. Always, 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 always. All right? Just because they do sex trafficking, you think they're not going to get their karma? hoo 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 if it, that, 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 that's the thing some people some people might say that oh you know um um there's sex trafficking and everything like that because the kids haven't opened their heart to god and shit and i'm like what the fuck is wrong with you a child that doesn't know religion because a child shouldn't know fucking religion to begin with 
What are you, fucking stupid? Brainwashing a child like that? Go ahead. Go ahead. And then you wonder why the child is so pissed off that he fucking lights in them, right? Then you get people like me that want literally to destroy these evil beings. All right? See, they don't want beings like me. In past lives, I wasn't, I was an assassin to these evil beings, man. Okay? So, I got on a tangent there, but still, man, it's, it's fucking true. So, that's some of the stuff that I had of the, of what I did in Astrogram and the dream that I had. And, all I know is, maybe that dream is just telling me that they're not gonna make it. Maybe. Maybe. Or, it could have just been beings that took the form of my friends and family and started making fun of me. And I was just like, no, fuck you, I'm not taking it. And I didn't. I didn't take it. I didn't wake up in the morning and felt sorry for myself. I woke up in the morning and I'm like, I, I fucking did that shit. I, I, never, I, I nuclearized them, literally. And I felt no sympathy after that. Because I knew that my friends and family won't fucking do that. I know they won't. If I was, if kind of loud, uh, if I told them that I was deaf and I can't hear, they'd be like, yo, yo, yo. Because I know how my friends and family are, man. You know? And most people are like, oh, maybe that's what they are in the Astrogram. I'm like, I doubt it. I doubt it, man. I really doubt it. But if they are like that, well, then that just shows what their true colors are in the Astrogram. You know? Again, there's different layers. <laughs> there's different things that could have happened here. But th th the best thing is you always got to question the universe. What? Why were you showing? Not why. What was this teaching me? Um, that you showed me. You showed me this in the astral realm. You showed me this in my dream. What are you teaching me, universe? What are you teaching me about this dream? And that is, I've been ask, asking the universe that ever since that dream happened. You know, I don't have to question the universe why I did to Biden and uh, uh, Omar Harris because I already know what I did in the astral realm. <laughs> you know, and plus, these people are not going to be in office for long. They're not even going to be in the, for kind of long, they're planning to leave. So you mean to tell me that these people that want to rule are planning to leave? How are they gonna how they how they wanna rule the planet if they're gonna leave? Plus, guess what? Let me let let, let me uh, let, let me let you on a little secret. They're fucked. Like, literally, they, like everything that their strongholds, basically their bases, the evil beings' bases. All, all gone, basically. All the good beings took it. It's over. It's over. Right? The good beings took all their shit. Yes. And the last final straw is the cosmic war that really, really hasn't been finished. This cosmic war has been happening before these founding fathers came to this planet, to be honest. Because there was reptilians, evil reptilians, that wanted to make sure that no one didn't grow spiritually. You think that all started because of these orcs? No, no, no. These orcs just came down here mainly because they saw the way we look like and the way we roared and they were jealous as fuck because they wanted to be like that. But they couldn't. Because the universe told them, fuck off, you don't deserve it. You have, you have your place in the quote-unquote food chain. Basically, that's when people will get it more, you know. And we're, we're higher up, basically. We're above all these evil beings, all right? Seriously. Some of our cosmic f family and friends are here already. Some of them look like felines. Some of them look like blue avians. Some of them look like a skull clown. A sacred clown. The sacred clown, actually. It's funny, too, because when I had a dream a long time ago, I saw my higher self, and he looked like a jester. He was. He was a jester. Most people are like, oh, that's just a DMT jester, which I'm not going to fault with you on that. Those are real. DMT jesters are real. What they do is that they... they 
play around basically they're basically showing you don't take life too seriously and you look at them and you they're having fun and shit and you're like you're just bawling your eyes out because you're feeling so much love from them and you're like oh my god and then you get some of these some caucasian people being like oh you, you know why they have red lips it's because they do blood sacrifice i'm like where do you get this from where do you get this from Oh, but, but yeah, when they have black lips or blue lips, you don't want to mention blood sacrifice, right? What, what, what happens if they have blue lips? They, they killed a smart? They ate a smart? Don't be, don't be an idiot. Don't be an idiot. Literally, if you have, if you painted your face like, like, a, like a clown, basically, like white makeup and with red lips and shit, guess what that tells you? Scar clown. Because the, the white is actually supposed to be a form of a skeleton a lot of people don't point that a lot of people don't say that a lot of people don't point that out but when we look at the history of sacred clown and the colors of it people literally say that oh the white is like a skeleton and then the color whatever it is like red black or blue it's a it's a form of the color of the clown basically so the white is 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 a skeleton and the color is just the colorful shit of the clown basically making it look like a clown basically you know <laughs> Because a clown has to look colorful anyways. It's funny that a clown sometimes looks like a rainbow child, right? Because all the colors and shit. And then they want to point it out that clowns are evil and scary. Some of them are. But there's a reason for that. So no one will fuck with us. <laughs> okay? Seriously. And look. Not to say... Look, a lot of people want to point out to it. And the thing is... um, It is basically what we could be. To be honest and the thing is they flip it around and make it into a being that just wants to eat children which goes to adrenochrome and shit you see how this works i when i notice all of this shit putting together with it and everything like that i'm like you guys are it, you, like i know what you guys are doing you're trying to scale people there is a uh, there is a such thing as clown phobia and it's funny too why is there such thing as clown phobia there shouldn't be in a way there really shouldn't be. If there's tribes that has... Each tribe has a sacred clown. So how could you be scared of a clown if, if there's tribes upon tribes that has their own sacred clown in each tribe? Each sacred clown has their own tribe. I mean, each tribe has their own sacred clown. Look at Trump. Trump is a sacred clown. He is. In his own tribe, he's, in, he's a sacred clown. That's what he was doing the way he was doing, guys. You know, you might not agree what he was doing and shit, but that was the point. <laughs> That's what sacred clowns do. <laughs> they do. They, they, they get you pissed off and riled up. And literally, while you're getting mad and riled up, the sacred clown's looking at you and be like, you see, this is how people act. This is how the world really is. You trigger a little bit of people and this is how they react. Sounds evil in all this, but to be honest, it's like a Gotham villain or a Marvel villain. You know, it almost reminds me of Thanos in a way, but also at the same time, Ultron. You know? It's like they were trying to do the right things, but at the same time, they had a terrible cause. I'm not putting that to Trump. I'm just as an example for, like, a certain thing, you know? Um, so I don't want people to be confused by, like, oh, you can't compare that to Trump. I'm like, no, I'm just pointing shit out, bitch. <laughs> uh, Compares and shit. Who wants to compare? Apples to oranges. Night and day. <laughs> oh, shit. But, um... <sighs> I want to say this before I end the video. Show this video to any brothers or sisters you know. Because I want to say this to them. Skip to this time frame if you want to. But tell them this, too. Are you planning... To go back to the way things were? Are you planning? Are you planning to, oh, I don't know, build your life? Like, basically, are you prepared or what's to come to this planet? Are you prepared to let things go that all need to be let things go? All right? We need to build, for example, this, like stuff like this, 
This is a, this is a, I mean a staff. This is a staff. Put like numbers on it, you know. Even put my name on it. Yes, my name is on it. Most people are like, yeah, this right here, that's my name. My own language. So. And since I got a staff, I also got a wand, which is over there. And uh, I'm also making a, uh, a Stargate. So there you go. And I will try to connect um, some of the stuff that I have for my Stargate for this. So I can use this to open up the Stargate. Instead of just, you know. But um, moving on with that. This is what we need to do. We need to build. Okay. We need to stock up on food and water. Okay. And one thing too. The most important thing out of anything. What have you been doing since this pandemic? What have you been doing? No, seriously, what have you been doing? Ask yourself that. What have you been doing? The planet gave you the perfect opportunity to turn everything off. Like, don't watch the news, I mean. Listen to me meditation music or just go outside and meditate and listen to nature herself. Literally, the planet has, quote unquote, stopped for nature to tell you to take time for yourself. And guess, and I remember telling my friend that, my friend looked at me like, because he knew, he knew, I've said this before too, he knew that nobody's not fucking doing that. Only the chosen ones are doing that. That just shows how many people are going to fucking die out here. I, I, I guess I, 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 I guess these motherfuckers are going to get the, what they want. Delete 95% of the world's population. Is that what they want? Yes, they do, by the way. They do. But it looks like they want, it looks like that's becoming a reality. Most people are like, I don't want that. Then, then change your mind. Change your mindset. You change your timeline. I know I'm not going to be in that timeline. <laughs> and if anyone tries to get these, guess what? Guess what? You ain't going to make it either. I don't care what no one tells you. You're going to, you, you either listen to a doctor than thyself. Oh, what if my higher self is lying to me? Then that means you don't trust yourself. Then that means you would never trust yourself and you don't trust nobody. How far do you think you're going to go if you don't trust your higher self? If you can't trust your higher self, why would you trust your avatar? You dumb fuck. That's what I have to tell you. That's the answer I'm going to give you. Because you're acting stupid at that point. The planet has literally froze for you to stand still in 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, hours, 2 hours, 5 hours. It doesn't fucking matter. 2 seconds. Change your fucking brain. And guess what? Guess what? Guess guess what that changes? Also, it changes your 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 structure code of your body. It does. It changes the structure of your brain. It actually makes you think clearer, clearer, and you see through the bullshit on the news and what people are telling you, so you won't get kidnapped around here. All right. And also, you're connecting to the Wi-Fi of the planet. Yes, the planet has a Wi-Fi. Have you ever heard of the grid of the planet? Yeah, that's the Wi-Fi of the planet. And believe it or not, the universe has it too. The cosmic universe has it too. We can connect to it. All just by literally stamping our feet on the grass. For five or ten minutes. That's all you need to do to get connected with nature. To feel healthy again. Oh, I have cancer. Really? Really? There's a person, literally, I don't know that person, but there was somebody that commented on a video that is 432 hertz. They literally said, I'm cancer free because of this video. Three, 432 hertz gave her cancer free. Him or her. 
That person is cancer free because they were listening to 432 hertz every day. This is the shit they don't want to tell you. And yet you, people think it's a game out here. If it's a game, then don't cry when you become a robot. Don't cry. Because at that point, you... Technically, some people around here already are robots. Fighting each other over stupid shit. Killing each other over stupid shit. Those are the people we have to fight soon. But until then, let them kill each other.